Today, I'm going to teach you how to create this really cool t-shirt design style in just five minutes using Photop. I'm going to have a link to Photop in the description. It's a free Photoshop web browser based alternative. And to get started, we'll click on new project copy my settings over here and then hit create. And then we're going to start off with the type tool. Just click on the artboard, change the size to about 700 and type out llama or whatever the subject of your design is. Then I'm going to use the move tool right here to increase the size of this and cover more of the screen. And then I'm going to zoom in by holding down alt on my keyboard and scrolling. And I will use the rectangle tool right here to now draw some boxes as wide as the individual letters. So kind of like this right here, make sure that the fill color is white, then I can duplicate this over by holding alt clicking, dragging to the right and then holding shift for it to stay in line. There we go. Now we've got a perfect copy for the L and for the A we need to amend this. So I've copied it over again, and I'm going to drag it out on the right hand side whilst holding down shift. And there we go, adjusted to fit the width of the letter A. And I'm going to do that for the rest of the letters as well. There we go. Now, whilst having the move tool selected still, I'm going to draw a box over all of these white rectangles. I'm moving on the canvas by holding down space, clicking and dragging, by the way. And now I'm going to make these longer at the bottom by just dragging and holding down shift as well. There we go. We can fill out the canvas like so. And then I'll confirm this up here. And now it's time to add a color scheme. So I'm going to go left to right and I'll start coloring this in with red over here. And we don't just want to do the letters. We want to do the boxes underneath as well with a matching color. So I'm going to copy the hash right here, the um, hex code, sorry. And then I'm going to use the move tool, click on the box underneath, go to the rectangle tool, and then you can change the fill color like this. So paste in the hex code right here, hit OK and repeat that process. So now I'm going to do the next letter. I think I'll turn this into more of an orange. Copy the hex code, move tool, click on the box underneath, rectangle tool and change the fill color. So you just want to repeat that process and create sort of a nice color scheme right here for each one of these letters. For the next step, I'm going to drag and drop a llama graphic into this document right here. I found this on Creative Fabrica. You can get access to it with a free trial. I'll leave a link to this exact llama in the description. You can also alternatively go to Ideogram, for example, and just generate some llama silhouettes with the free plan. But now the goal is to get this llama cut out of the shapes because at the moment if I hide the background there we go we've still got like a black overlay we want to ideally to be cut out from these so to do that we need to first of all group all of the shapes right here so shift click on the shapes in your layers panel hold control G or click control G to create a group and now we can click on the thumbnail of the llama whilst holding down control that will highlight the entire subject. Then we go to select inverse, click on the folder right here, and then create a raster mask with this button at the very bottom. And if we now hide the llama vector or the llama graphic and hide the background as well, we can see that now the shape has been cut out from all of the rectangles, which is what we wanted. So there we go. Now uh, I think all that's left is adding a nice little texture effect to this to finish it off. So I've added a texture file to the document right here and I will leave a free download link to this in the description so you can use it as well. And first off, you just want to make this a bit bigger by dragging on these sides right here and cover most of our design. There we go. And now we need to do the same thing. We need to erase it from our shapes and from the text as well this time. So in order to do that, we need to group the shapes right here with the text layer. So select both of those by holding down shift and clicking on them in the layers panel, then click control G to group them. You want to control click on the thumbnail of the texture right here to select it all, then go to select inverse, click back on the new folder or group that we just created, add a raster mask. And then if we hide the texture, as you can see, it's been cut out perfectly right here. And now there we have it. The t-shirt design is already done. In some cases, you could also move the text down. Some people do this and connect it to the shapes. Um, looks quite cool as well, but it makes it a little bit harder to read. So do bear that in mind. And you could also make this a bit smaller and then add a bit of text above 
right here, or maybe you could add text at the bottom as well. But there we go, that's a really easy, quick design style to create that you can apply to loads and loads of different niches, ideally with less or shorter words, less letters. If you've got a word that's like 20 letters, it will be a bit harder to pull off this style. But once you're done, you can hide the background right here, go to File, Export as PNG, and then have it saved to your device. I hope this helps you out and have fun designing. If you're a big fan of free graphics and fonts, then you definitely want to check out this video next, where I share one of the biggest print-on-demand resources with over 200,000 freebies.